after the game. Certainly the thoughts on the players' minds were Julian Wiggum. You see Keon Lynn, the injured cornerback senior for Syracuse, saying his prayers go out to his teammate Julian Wiggum, who was taken to the hospital. We see the statement there from Brent Accent from SU Athletics that we read earlier on this show. Julian Wiggum in suffering an injury, had some internal bleeding. Certainly hope the best for him. Overall, Syracuse loses to Florida State 59-3. to not a great game for the team, but you see with some of these tweets, they're ready to get back in there and get back at it against Pittsburgh. Still two wins away, or still one win away from a bowl game with two games remaining. Well, certainly not that much went right against Florida State, so our analysts come back to tell us where Syracuse went wrong. Well, there's a lot to pick from with what went wrong in a 59 to three loss, guys. But Darius, first you got to kind of start with this offense. Yeah, you, you have to go offense first, and Terrell Hunt not having a good go in the ACC <laughs> to say the least at all. And in this game specifically, couldn't find the receivers, and most of that was probably mostly because he didn't have time. A lot of guys kept getting a lot of pressure on him. He had pressure in his face all day. We saw a couple of sacks in the highlights. He himself just could not find his receivers. Some drop passes happened. And he's got to get on a better rhythm going into Pittsburgh. Early in the game when Syracuse at least was still in it for the moment, he had open receivers and he just wasn't able to find it. You look at the screen, that's an open Christopher Clark. He just misses him. He can't make the throw. And this is the problem with Terrell Hunt. Against teams like Tulane and Wagner, no problem. I'm a touchdown machine. But big spots, just can't find his open guys. Yeah, he even did in some wins against Wake Forest. He himself overthrew receiver time and time again. So he's got to get a better rhythm so he can hit that deep ball and, of course, make the, the short passes as well. Well, we also saw two other weapons go down, uh, Jared West and Prince Tyson Gully mm -hmm. gone early in the game. So that certainly doesn't help when you can't no. find your receivers, especially. <laughs> straight week for Prince Tyson Gully, too. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you, you don't know if this is something that's going to be nagging him the rest of the season or not. Mm -hmm. But, Jay, on defense, there was also, as you had, his fair share of issues. Yeah, Gabe, Chuck Bulla and his boys, not easy when you can't make a tackle. Early in the game, you, Syracuse just couldn't wrap up this fast and evasive Florida State <laughs> offense. <laughs> it's just, it, if you look at it right here, here's the 74-yard the touchdown. I, I know they're faster. This is why they attend Florida State instead of Syracuse. But when Ouch. you're... Come on, Florida State's a better program. But when you can't make the simple play to give yourself a chance, you're completely eliminating yourself from the game. Yeah, exactly. That's something that this team actually struggled with in different games time and time again. They always say on defense, you want to keep the guy in front of you, you want to keep it in front. But then when you can't tackle him, it really doesn't matter. And they miss tackle after tackle, even the big plays. you, you got to exactly. wrap up. The first thing they teach you is wrapping up on defense. And Syracuse was not able to do that. They almost missed their sack uh, early in the game, mm -hmm. too. Uh, James Woodson escaped. You got to get the, a better handle on defense. Coach Schaefer came into this game saying, the one thing we learned against Clemson, don't give up the big play. Well, first quarter, <laughs> gave up yeah. tons of big plays. Could have made them if you just wrapped up your man. Couldn't do it. So, Chuck yeah. Bola. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah, a team like exactly. State game. <laughs> Some tough, tough words from Jay Alter on this, on this Syracuse yeah. defense. But, hey, I guess 59-3 to speaks for itself.